In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a preloader in Elementor without using the Elementor preloader. I'll get into why you might not want to use that later on, but first let's refresh this page to see the preloader in action. There it is. And this is a Lottie file. If you go to lottiefiles.com, there's loads and loads of Lottie files. You can use any one of these 202 pages of free Lottie files. And there's also paid ones as well. So you can use any one of these. I'll show you how to get the Lottie file in just a minute to have as your preloader. So you find the perfect file, make that your preloader. And this is the code we use to create the preloader. I currently have this inside of Elementor code. I'm just going to copy this, start from scratch. So you can see all the steps I use to make this happen. So let's go to Elementor code, custom code. This requires Elementor Pro. If you don't have Elementor Pro yet, there's a link to it in the description down below. It is an affiliate link. If you end up buying through that, I do get a commission. It does not make it more expensive for you, but it helps me keep making these videos for free. So let's trash the preload animation here. Now we're going to go to custom code where we are now. Click on add new. I'm going to call this preloader. I'm going to choose body end. And I'm going to paste this code right in here. And this code you can get off my website. Just click the link in the description down below. It'll say something like code on website colon and then this link. And there are a few important things here that you want to be aware of that you can change to make your animation different. So the background color, this is a hex code. And this hex code is this kind of gray purple right here. If you want it all white, you just have all Fs. If you want it all black, it'd be all zeros. And you can use this hex codes. There's millions. Is there millions? There might be millions of hex code colors. And you can choose whichever one you want and put it in here. This next bit here, the transition, we have a 0.3 second transmission. I've, I explained this in this comment right here. This allows you to decide how long the transition will be when we're loading and not loading the preloader. We gotta load the preloader, if that makes sense. This is the transition in and out of the preloader. And this is the div that creates the HTML div that we're gonna put the animation on. This is the script that applies the animation to that div. Try not to edit too much in here. Just stick to the things I've commented. So here we have a 0.3 second transition time again. You can change that to make the transition time longer or shorter. Here we have the number 2500. This is milliseconds for how long the animation will run. So if you wanted to get a specific Lottie file, like say this one right here, and it runs for three seconds, then you might want to change this preloader to be three seconds so the whole animation can run. Or have whatever length you want. Just uh, There's got to be enough length that your website can actually load in the background. So whatever number you change this one to, you want to change this one to that same number. And down here is the Lottie file URL. So let's get a new Lottie file. Let's just use this one right here. You got to create an account. It's free. Then click on Save to Workspace to Generate. And that usually takes just a few seconds. And now we have it in our workspace. Not sure, entirely sure what that means inside of Lottie, but I guess it's just your own account where you can see all the Lottie files you've used. Click on the top right here, enable asset link. And then the asset link is right down here. Click on that to copy it. Come back to our code. Make sure you select everything inside the quotes. Do not delete the quotes. It's very important. Paste that in there. One more thing actually, we also have events we put in the console. So this will say preloader works and this will throw an error and tell us what the error is if something goes wrong. And I'll show you how to see that in just a minute as well. So let's publish this and we'll choose to have this only on the homepage. You can choose to have it any page you want. You can have it on the entire site as well. But I'm gonna choose just the homepage. Click on save and close. Then go out here and refresh and we should have our new Lottie file. There it is. See how the, the 2500 that we set here ran that animation about two times. Let's change this to just two seconds. That's not bad. You can, you can uh, mess around with it and get exactly how you want it. The main thing you want is to have your website load before the animation is done playing. And this is not an intelligent preloader. And by that, I mean this script does not know when your website is loaded. And at that point, it will stop the preloader. 
we are defining the length of the preloader manually. So if your site hopefully takes less than two seconds to load, having a 2000 in here for these numbers, which is two seconds, should be great for your preloader. And if you have this preloader shorter than the amount of time your website takes to load, you're gonna run the preloader, then you're gonna have a blank page because the site isn't loaded. So it's not intelligent in that regard. It doesn't know what your website's doing. It's just an overlay that plays while your website is loading and plays it as soon as possible. And that's what makes it appear to be a preloader. And you can also do this outside of Elementor. This requires Elementor Pro, as I mentioned earlier, and this would be a great replacement for the preloader that comes built into Elementor. And I've got a separate tutorial showing you how to do this without page loaders. And then you can have a preloader with no plugins and no anything using this code right here. And the reason I chose only front page is because once your website has loaded once, a lot of the codes already cached in the browser. For example, your menu system will probably be the same. Your footer is probably going to be the same. Your fonts are going to be the same. So a lot of the stuff's already loaded. So you don't need to preload on every page because that can get pretty annoying if you're preloading every page, especially with this preloader. If I change this, let's change this to entire site and you'll see what I mean. Update that. Now every page I go to, it's going to preload with the preloader. Even though the page is already loaded in the background, you can even see it flash for a second before the preloader hops on. And that's super annoying. So you're gonna to want to have this probably just set to the home page, unless every page on your site loads slowly, which is unlikely. So let's go to singular front page, and you have a cool preloader when your home page first loads. In fact, when it loads anytime, if you go, again, this is not an intelligent preloader, as I mentioned earlier. If, you, if someone's navigating your website and they go wherever they wanna go, and then click on home again, it's gonna preload on the home page. So that might be something you want to consider um, because that might not be what you want. If you haven't done so yet, make sure to click subscribe, ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. And then check out this video right over here, which shows you how to create a preloader with Elementor's built-in preloader functions. Check it out. It's right there. I'll see you there.